Now that we've animated our graphs, we want to add some text and numbers to create meaning. To do this, we're not just going to use simple text layers because we've already covered how to create and animate text. I want to show you an effect that is text specific. Let's come to our pie graph composition. I want to add text that notates that this is 75% of this pie graph. So I'm going to get out my type tool and I'm going to click in my composition window to create a new text layer, but I'm not going to type anything. Now you could, because the effect is going to make whatever you type go away anyway, but it's redundant. We don't have to type anything for this next effect to work. So with your text layer selected now, let's come over to our effects and presets panel, come down to the text folder and select numbers. With your empty text layer selected, double click numbers. A pop-up appears where we get to choose what font, the direction, the alignment, and style of text that our numbers will appear in. This is kind of unique because we're used to changing all the parameters for our text in our character panel. But this is an effect, so we have different windows to work with. I'm going to change my font to Franklin Gothic Demi, which again is my go-to font. You can choose whatever font you would like. Something that is bold and sans serif will work the best. I'm gonna keep my style regular. If all you have is Arial, you could do Arial bold. That would be fine. We want the direction to be horizontal and we want our alignment to be left. Go ahead and click OK. Now our text layer is still empty, but there's now text inside of our composition. And on our text layer, under the Effect Controls tab, we now have some parameters we can adjust. So the Effect Numbers literally gives us some numbers to work with. Well, why is this different than just using our Type tool and typing out given numbers? Because now we can animate the actual values. So notice here we have different options. We have the type of numbers that we'll be animating defaults to number, but if you toggle this down, we could animate time codes, we could animate dates, we could even animate hexadecimal numbers. This is great because sometimes you may want to animate the number of followers you have. You may want to animate a date passing from one year to the next for maybe a film. These are great cheat ways of animating these different variables. I'm going to keep this on numbers. The decimal places is what keeps us at these zeros. So I don't want three places after the zeros. I want no places after the zeros. I want this just to show a one through 75 as I animate this. So I'm gonna take this three and I'm gonna type in zero and enter. This leaves us with a singular number place. We have our position. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition this using the X and Y values to be down here. It defaults to red. Why? I don't know, but it always does. I'm going to change this to the color of our yellow border to match our color scheme. And I'm going to increase the size a bit. Something kind of large. 235 looks kind of cool. Bring this down here. So now we have a number in our Franklin Gothic Demi font zero decimal places, so it's just a zero, positioned, colored, and sized appropriately. So here's where the fun part comes in. Come up to the value offset random max parameter. It starts at zero. If I click this and drag to the right, it will show the number that's typed up here in our parameter. This is absolutely awesome because I could animate zero through five million if I wanted to over the course of time. So let's come down to our timeline panel and take our playhead to zero. I want the value offset to keyframe at the start, starting at zero. I'm gonna hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes on my text layer. I'm gonna drag the playhead to where the base stops animating which is right here. I'm gonna change my value offset parameter now to 75. 
And the reason why we turned our decimal places to zero is because if I start to drag this up, if decimals were important, and sometimes in statistics they are, then you'd want your decimal places. Normally it's two decimal places for most regular values. But since I just want solid numbers, I had this at zero. So that's what the decimal places look like and do. So now that we have our keyframes from zero to 75, over the course of this two and a half seconds, it will now animate from zero to 75 over the course of time. Now let's simulate the ease as well. So I'm gonna select the last keyframe for my value offset and hit F9 on the keyboard, come into our graph editor and increase the influence to around 65%. Let's watch this. So now it kind of slowly ticks up as the pie graph slowly stops. Now this looks nice. I wanna continue with the design though. I'm gonna increase the size a bit more. I'm gonna bring it over to the side and down, maybe a little less. The goal here is to kind of make it feel a bit more integrated, something kind of like that, where it looks like and feels a part of the graph itself. But wouldn't it be cool if this were track matted and bound by our graph base clock wiping on? Yeah, it would. And it's as easy as duplicating our graph base and using it as a track mat for our empty text layer. So let's select graph base and hit control or command D on the keyboard to duplicate it. And let's drag that layer above the empty text layer. On our empty text layer now, come over to the track mat pull down and change it from none to alpha mat graph base three. Wonderful. Now, as it radial wipes on, the text will appear as well. That's a very cool way of integrating the text into the graph itself. We can go a step further. We could animate the position for our numbers effect. So if I like it ending up right about here, I could keyframe this at the end of the animation. And then at the start, I could have this start from lower. So now when I play this, it not only clock wipes in, but it also comes up. I'm gonna hit U on the keyboard to bring up that extra set of keyframes, and I'm gonna add some ease to this one as well. And perhaps have it end on its position a little bit earlier. Let's watch this. It's nice, it's fluid, and it looks well integrated. So that's the numbers effect from the effect and presets panel that we apply to empty text layers and animate the parameters in the effect controls panel itself. Utilize this effect on your other graphs and have fun maybe like on your bar graph, adding little text numbers here that change as these increase and creatively use maybe layer parenting and track mats to integrate the numbers that are animating in with the graph themselves. Have fun with graphs and animated numbers.